Uh, my name is Bridget Walker. Um, my experience with Occupy Atlanta was definitely a, a great one and a uh, learning one. Um, I was facing foreclosure from Chase. Um, Chase did not want to work with me. I had submitted numerous modification documents and they kept declining me. So I contacted Occupy Atlanta and as soon as I contacted Occupy Atlanta within a, a week or so, Chase was calling to work things out and eventually in another week, Chase modified my mortgage. They dropped my payments below half of what I was paying. What did Occupy Atlanta do to help you? Like, what exactly did they do? Oh, okay. Well, uh, we canvassed the neighborhood. Um, we did a lot of uh, press, like media, like radio. A lot of a lot of common people like ourselves got involved. People were calling Chase. Uh, the phone lines were getting jammed. Uh, we did a march to one of the Chase offices, and it was just just everyday ordinary people getting involved and, and using their voice to try to help me have a voice. And do you feel like that you could have gotten through this without Occupy Atlanta or did they really come in to the rescue? If it wasn't for Occupy Atlanta, I wouldn't have my house right now. Because of them, I'm now, you know, still in my home. So I'm very grateful for them and I love them for everything that they do and I'm definitely going to be supporting them uh, with any future endeavors that they may have or, or need help with. <laughs> Occupation, that's what they all yelling, but it's gangster nation. No bankers that be selling our future on the politics.